So today's your lucky day. You get to see my ugly mug. I normally spare you that pain. So this is the actual finished uh, baby vice. And even though I say it myself, it's an absolutely beautiful piece of kit. So smooth and precise. And you'll see the rest of the build in future videos. So the reason why I'm showing this today is because I had an email from a guy called George Oldroyd uh, who lives in Alabama in the USA. And he's a really nice guy. I've not met him but from what I've seen he does an awful lot of work for veterans and for scouts. George runs a non-profit knife making workshop uh, for veterans so it's a kind of a metal stroke artwork uh, therapy for these guys and George said he could really use a little vice like this uh, and asked if it would be possible for me to make one and donate it to their cause so as you can appreciate there's quite a lot of work involved so I had to think about it he actually said he could do with three and I thought well since it's for a good cause maybe we can uh, do a collaboration um, and get a small team together and build three vices to, to donate to the uh, knife making workshop drawings are available to refer to so it would be great if, um, if anyone's interested if we could get a few machinists or YouTube machinists together in the UK and in the USA um, and preferably have someone in the USA to receive parts and do the assembly um, if you think you'd be interested in helping out um, drop me an email I leave some links below in the description that will uh, give you some information about George and what he does a really interesting guy a really nice guy so regular viewers will know that I haven't been posting many videos lately that's mostly because I've been doing a lot of commercial work which involves doing some design and prototype uh, building uh, that's going to be ongoing but um, I'm starting to be, get back into doing more time in the workshop so the workshop at the moment is a real tip uh, everything's just lying around I've not had a chance to tidy up I tend not to tidy up as I work I tend to work make a mess then tidy up and then once in a while actually sweep the floor and clean the machines and but that's not too often I'm busy doing some work on my traction engine anyway many of you will be wondering about what's happening with the line project uh, the line locomotive um, I've not done any work on the line since my last video so you've not missed anything uh, we'll be getting back to it soon um, at the moment she's in pieces I've got the chassis on the mocking out plate upside down the cylinder and all the valve gears on my bench so that's what I'm starting to work on to finish the assembly of the valve gear but probably before I get onto that I should tidy up anyway this video is a continuation of the baby vice so on with the show. So I'm going to try something I've not done before. It's going to be nerve wracking. That's the nut done.
Time to make the screw. Okay, we're all set up for screw cutting the uh, thread on this. Um, it's 18 TPI, 516th diameter, Whitworth foam. 70mm uh, long. So normally what would happen is I would put a groove at the end of the thread for the tool to run out into when cutting the, the thread. Um, but that does weaken the, the shaft a little bit. So I'm going to try something I've not done before. And that is not bother with the groove and just screw cut and bring out the tool at the end of the thread and that will make sure that the, um, the shaft is at its maximum strength this is a medium tensile steel so it probably wouldn't be a problem but anyway I've always wanted to give this a go so that's what we're going to do so the black mug is the end of the thread and when the tool gets to the end of the thread it corresponds with zero on the uh, longitudinal dial and at that point I've got to bring out the cross slide quickly uh, and then disengage the lead screw and I've got to repeat that for each cut in exactly the same place so we'll just take it slow see how we get on it's going to be nerve wracking but I've got to be out waiting for the end so I've come up to the black line so we'll look at the dial, wait for zero That's it done. That's nice. 
the edge one out looks good. I'm not very happy with that. You cannot beat a Newcastle Brune champion. Thanks for watching. See you next time.